G'day, you bloody dickheads. The Vaping Fucking Bogan. Back once again for another Dinky Die review. How the fuck are you lot? Hope you all had a tops weekend. Got myself something pretty fancy fucking schmancy here. A little bit of high-end kit from Vicious Ant. There we go. It is the Spade. Single 18650 Squonker. Very fucking tidy. Look at that acrylic. Just gorgeous. Build quality on Vicious Ant gear is always outstanding, and uh, yeah, no fucking difference here. Very, very fucking nice. Now, I've got the uh, Hermetic RDA sitting atop it there from um, Matt from Suck My Mod. It's come out with a new little single coil RDA. Drip tip is from Half Moon Mods, if you're fucking wondering. Now, there are a few different variations of the Spade Squonker from Vicious Ant. There's the 21700 or 2700 and 18650 versions. There's a version with the DNA 75 color chip in it uh, from Evolve. This one here is, uh, as you get from the fucking title, the Yeehe chip, the, uh, the 485J Yeehe chip, which uh, is a little bit different, obviously, to the uh, DNA. This one does a hundred fucking watts. It is just an 18650 single battery mod, so 100 watts is not going to fucking do it for very long. But you know, it's got a little bit more wattage if you wanted to go to you know sort of 85 or something like that. Has a little bit over the uh, the DNA, but uh, you know it doesn't have the replay mode which the DNA has. So yeah, look different chips for different fucking chicks <laughs> and blokes. But uh, yeah, if you're into the Yeehee chips, then this one might be for you. Anyway, let's fucking uh, turn it on. That'd be a good idea. Fucking good one, Bogan. And we'll take it for a fucking toot. Now, I've got a little uh, 0.22 ohm single coil in here, 0.23, should I say. A uh, little alien single coil. Let's uh, And I've got it at 60 fucking watts, just a 10 to 60, mate. Vaping beautifully, and uh, this little hermetic RDA, very, very fucking uh, nicely done by Matt. We'll get to that in another video. But anyway, dear kids, before we talk more about this little fucker, let's quickly talk vape advocacy. Yes, yes, I know, absolutely fucking bullshit. Now, if you don't know what vape advocacy is, you're probably new to this industry. But if you are, and you're not aware, it's under attack from corporations, big tobacco, governments, things like the FDA in the United States, trying to shut shit down. Basically, it's big tobacco and pharmaceuticals influence. We're taking all the tobacco money and uh, they don't fucking like it. So please join some of those advocacy groups like Kassar, Not Blowing Smoke, um, and uh, and others. There's links down in the description of those. Write your representatives and tell them how vaping has changed your life. At the moment in the United States, there's a huge fucking problem with flavor banning. The FDA, uh, I think it was Scott Godlib or whatever the fuckwit's name is, came out the other day and basically said, there's an epidemic of children vaping, which is absolute crap. Go and watch Grimm's recent video, his, uh, his latest video um, on, uh, on vape advocacy. I think he calls it the 510 Report. It's an excellent little 10-minute video talking about currently what has happened with the whole FDA thing and this flavor ban and this attack on vaping. Go and educate yourselves and then fucking activate yourselves. All right, let's fucking have a beer. Let's activate some fucking hops. Rightio, we've got ourselves uh, another Top All beer. Top All is a Denmark brewery which doesn't actually have its own brewery. It goes and pinches um, fucking other breweries' facilities and makes their brews. And this one here is called Hazy. Hazy. Very fucking nice. I'll take a ho hazy over a wheezy or a yeezy. <laughs> it's a triple citra IPA, a New England style India pale ale. Uh, this one is brewed in Belgium and it is a seven and a half fucking percenter. That's about all it tells me. So uh, let's see how she bloody tastes, eh? Well, there you go, dickheads. Almost filled her up. Just a tad left in there. But yes, as you can see, very sort of murky kind of colour. Not a lot of uh, light getting through there. Fairly orange. Fairly fucking Trump coloured. I suppose there's a few hops in there. Very fucking fruity on the nose. Yeah, you can smell that. That's uh, papaya and... Yeah, passion fruit, that kind of thing. Fucking cheese, cunts. Oh, that's delightful. That is delightful. That is fucking awesome. Top all makes some fantastic beers, and this one has not disappointed. Really thick. It's like apricot nectar or mango nectar in your mouth. Very, very thick on the mouth. Very, very fucking fruity. Getting a lot of sort of stone fruit. Definitely getting a lot of apricot, actually, in the very first sort of uh, taste. 
And then sort of citrusy kind of flavors come into it, lemon and grapefruit and that kind of thing. Really, really fucking fruity though. And then you get that little herbal kind of IPA bite on the end there, just a little titch of that kind of uh, very tart, bitter kind of uh, hoppy sourness. Should I say bitterness really? But yeah, very fucking nice. Don't taste any of that 7.5%. Really, really fruity. I said, like the stone fruit flavors in there. Pair it up with the juice as always, cunts. What have we fucking got if I can hold on to it? Bit of Clutch Vapors featured this recently. It's one of my old, old favorites. This one I had way back when I first started vaping a good five years ago. And only recently got back into it. It's called TKO, the flavor. Clutch Vapors, TKO, and it is a raspberry lemonade. And it is still to this date probably one of the best fucking raspberry lemonades I think I've had in a juice. So, uh, yeah, it should go pretty well with our fruity New England. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah, that lemonade and the raspberry just adding really nicely to the extra fruits there. I'm kind of bringing out a little extra flavor there, a little something different. Yeah, I like that. That is good. That raspberry is going really, really nicely with the sort of apricot flavours and everything else. Anyway, dickheads, enough fucking beer talk. Let's get down the up and bloody close. I'll show you the ins and outs around this mod. We'll go through a little bit of the chip. I'm not going to go through all the things. It's quite an advanced chip, but I'll go through all the basics. And then we'll talk pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. And is this fucking high-end device worth all the beans that she costs? You'll obviously get the, uh, the spade. Have a look at that, just gorgeous. And you get uh, a little fucking uh, squonk, or spare squonk bottle slash, you know, out and about bottle. Really like this little idea. So you got a little keychain attachment there. You got a nice little sort of stainless steel housing around it. You give it a little fucking pop, out she comes. And you've got uh, a little 6.8 mil bottle. Very nice, this is a little uh, spare squonker. Basically you just pop it out from its little uh, lid. So it's got a couple of O-rings or an O-ring on the top there. You slide it in there. That keeps it all sealed. Keep it in there. Stops it from getting um, squished and fucked up. And uh, when you're ready to fucking uh, swap bottles, you just pop it out, pop your new one in, and uh, away you go. I really like how they've included one of these little bit of uh, Vicious Ant branding on the side there as well. And uh, not too bad a capacity at all at 6.8 mils. But let's get into the main fucking affair and just have a look at this thing isn't it just gorgeous absolutely beautiful so it's got an aluminium uh, body i believe and then you've got a little acrylic door they also do some of the variations across the you know the dna 75s and the mechanical versions there's mechanical versions of the 18650s and the 21700s you can get some of them at a full uh, stabilized wood some of them that are full acrylic and uh, others like these that are you know an acrylic or a stab wood door on a um, aluminium body, and uh, they're just gorgeous. I mean, have a look at that. Just the vibrance of that acrylic and this crazy sort of like, I don't know, it looks like some kind of alien fucking explosion. That green, very fucking nice, you have to say. And all over it, the quality is just, it's just gushing in fucking quality. You know, Vicious Ant, they're expensive devices. We'll get to that in a bit, but they are built you know, at a higher grade than, um, you know, the other sort of mods on the market, you know, from things like the door, I pop the door off, like, it's so nice, there is magnets in there, but you don't need them, because the tolerances on this door are just fucking perfect, like, every seam, you know, if we look at the seams there, there's just no gaps anywhere, it's just perfectly machined absolutely awesome you know even down to like the letters on the bottom there i mean just have a look at that have a look at the fucking precision it's just so well done so fucking well done so, we'll run through the fucking ins and outs, dickheads. We've got a nice little 510 connection up here. Stainless steel threading. Little bit of vicious ant embossed in there. Got a spring-loaded 510 connection. I've had no issues with everything sort of uh, screwing on here. Nice and fucking flush. What size will you be able to get on? Up to about a 25 millimeter. All right. 25, maybe a 26. We've got a little 
hairs fucking room there, but about 25, yeah, 25, because you've got this sort of beveling just on this side here. So 25 millimeters, this is a Kennedy 25, if anybody's wondering. Um, yeah, 25 millimeters is gonna look fucking awesome. And uh, then you've got your fire button over here. You've got like a polished sort of uh, stainless steel kind of finish to the whole plate there. So fire button, nice click to it. You've then got the joystick. So being a uh, an SX385 uh, chip, it has the joystick. So you're gonna go sort of up and down, side to side. You've got the micro USB port there for charging and updating. I never recommend charging any device that has a removable battery via the device. Take the battery out, put it in a proper fucking charger. It'll, um, you know, be better for your fucking chip and, um, you know, you don't risk the chance of it overheating and burning your fucking house down. Down the bottom here, you've got the battery cap. So I'll show you more of that when we pop the door off in a second. Um, you got the nice little badge there. I always like. I've always liked this thing, this uh, you know emblem that the uh, vicious ants have. Very nice little uh, emblem on the bottle there, which I think is a nice touch. I really love this. This is just gorgeous. The um, the spade cut out there, giving you the uh, the hole for your your squonk bottle, but um, at the same time, you know, really fucking uh, looks just gorgeous. So grab the door pop her off, very fucking nice and snug. You have got a few magnets in the door there just to uh, you know give it a bit of extra strength, but to be honest, the tolerances are so perfect on here, you don't even need those. Inside, you've got the, uh, the gray or, or charcoal squonk bottle that she comes with sort of pre-installed. I like the, uh, the gray finish. Now there is, I think this outer, outer finish here is what they call um, black, cobalt black. All right, I think it's the cobalt black. There's also like a gray finish as well, and I think there's like a straight black finish. But yeah, it's definitely got the kind of that gunmetal sort of feel to it. You've got the uh, the positive, negative markings on the batteries there. All right, uh, it looks like they are silver plated um, up the top there. I don't know, it just has that sort of silver kind of look to it. And then your uh, your battery adjustment is done just by twisting this little knob here. I really like this because, you know, when you're putting a battery in, it's easy. You don't have to unscrew this all the way. You just unscrew it a little bit, pop the battery out, put it back in. But the benefits of having, you know, a, um, a telescopic contact like this is you're getting really, really good contact with your battery and you know the battery's not going to move around or anything like that because it's being pinned by this plug here. You've also got a little serial number in the bottom there so you can see that uh, CB. Yeah, I'm right. So CB stands for the Cobalt Black. And then you've got uh, the serial number there, 76. I'm not sure what the T means, but yeah, anyway, the, the CB is cobalt black. Um, and yeah, you just fucking screw it in. So that squonk bottle, um, it's not easy to get out when you've got a battery in there. You can do it if you sort of roll it across here, you kind of get your finger and you kind of just roll it out. But it is a lot easier if you take the battery out of the sled and then you can kind of grab it around the back here and just pop it out. And there you go, mine is uh, full of juice at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's your, that's your squonk bottle. Um, what I do like about their squonk bottles, I will just point out, if I unscrew the spare one here, I like what they've done with the end of the, um, of the squonk tube. They've given it a little fucking fork so that, you know, it doesn't matter if it kind of gets pushed in a little bit, your juice is still going to get in there and it just gives it a greater, uh, you know, sort of area to sort of suck the juice from. It's just a little thing. It's a really, really little thing, but it's worth pointing out. You don't see that on other squonk bottles, and that's definitely going to help with the um, with the whole sort of squonking uh, technique. Um, having that in there, so just just little little uh, one percenters that you don't get on uh, on cheaper devices. Right, let's fucking chuck a uh, battery in here and uh, run through the ins and outs. So I've got uh, a Sony VTC five A here has been rewrapped with an ODB old dirty bastard wrap. Do love their wraps. I got these fucking zombie wankers on here. Very nice. So you just drop him in, you screw in your plug, and once it's snugged up, you're fucking good to go. The chip will do that when you put the battery in, but it's not actually on. You need to give it one, two, three, four, five clicks, and she turns on. Pop the battery door back on. There we go. And here we have our home screen. So, I'm running in wattage mode at the moment. You've got your wattage being displayed up the top here. You've also got joules. It's basically the same as wattage, essentially. Um, you've got the resistance. 
and the voltage being applied based on that resistance. You've got the amperage over here. You have got up to five memory settings that you can save your, uh, you know, your preset wattage or temp control or whatever on. So I'm in M5 at the moment. You have got a, um, a, a boost system or a preheat function. You've got uh, normal, you've got soft, you've got powerful, and you've got powerful plus, which is what I'm running in at the moment. You've got your battery indicated over here, and you've got what the, uh, the battery voltage is at, which is uh, 4.1 currently. So that's your home screen. There's obviously a whole bunch of different things that the uh, the joystick and that will do depending on what mode you're in. But uh, if I give it uh, sort of a, a click downwards, I can then go and adjust my wattage. So I just hit straight down on the uh, the joystick. Goes in 0.1 watt increments. You can ramp it all the way up to 100 fucking watts. Um, I will point out that on a single 18650, it's not going to do 100 watts for very long. So, you know... Really, this is designed for sort of 85 watts and under um, because, yeah, to get consistent sort of power at 100 watts off a single 18 6 fucking 50, it just ain't really going to happen. All right, lock in our wattage. It's going to tell us that the uh, the atomizer is not screwed on there. We might just screw one on for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. We've got this little hermetic RDA here from uh, Matt from Suck My Mod. It's done a fucking stellar job. Right, so now you can see it's reading 0.23 ohms, and it's going to give me the uh, the voltage it's applying, which is 3.7. If I give it a, a click on the joystick, as I said, I can adjust the wattage. If I go to the right on the joystick, I can then flick between the modes. So I've got, uh, you know, my, or not my modes, my memories. I've got M1, M2, you know, M3, M4, and then M5 which I've currently been using. If I flick the joystick to the left, I can then change the preheat function down the bottom here. So you've got your SXIQ, which is like their sort of uh, temp control kind of the new format thing. I don't really use it. S2, S3, and we go to S4 and S5. Then we've got eco mode. You've got soft as your preheat. You've got the standard, you've got the powerful, and you got the powerful plus, which is what I've been uh, liking. Now, if I just flick up on the joystick, I can go in and adjust my screen brightness. You'll see just here, it's changed to a sunshine and we've got uh, a nine and we can start adjusting. If we go down, once we've flicked up, we can flick down and we can adjust that brightness on the screen, you know, right down to stealth mode and then back up. So depending on what you like, we'll just leave it there. It looks good at six on the camera. Hit the fire button, locks it in. Now, when I don't have anything highlighted, I can just click this uh, joystick button straight down. The wattage lights up. If I hit it again, I then go to joules. So now I'm in joules mode. If I hit it again, I'm now in temp control mode. Once I'm in temp control mode, if I hit down, or not down, if I just press on the joystick once, and then twice, you'll see the stainless steel light up over here. And now I can start flicking through. If I click down on the uh, joystick, I've got TCR, I've got ni uh, nickel 200, I've got titanium, and I've got stainless steel. So you can obviously choose your different fucking um, temp control modes there. Right, so let's say we're in temp control mode. We've got 250 degrees Fahrenheit here. If I want to adjust the temperature, give it a click on the joystick. And now I can go up on my temperature. So let's ramp that up. Let's say we want to vape at 420 degrees. We'll lock that in. Then if I want to adjust my um, preheat joules, click on the joystick, click on it again, click on it again until we get to joules. Then we can go up or down. Let's say we want to vape at 66.6 uh, .6 fucking joules. We lock that in. We click the joystick again until we're back to our 420. And now you can see we've got 66.6 .6 joules and 420 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's how you do your adjustment on your preheat. Um, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit more sort of, uh, you know, complex and, and around about than some other sort of uh, chips out there. But yeah, it's, um, it's, it's an advanced chip. You know, I wish they'd done it a little bit more fucking um, sort of, free and easy to kind of work out but uh it certainly does everything that you could uh that you could want so um 
yeah, busy screen though. Lots of shit going on there. I don't know whether we need, you know, all of this stuff on here on the home screen. But anyway, there you go, dickheads. I think that probably runs through everything that I'm going to on the uh, on the chip. As I said, it's very advanced. There's lots of stuff. Um, there are other sort of uh, videos out there on the chip if you want to know the ins and outs. But um, yeah, tell you what, for a uh, a pretty looking setup, she certainly fucking is very very pretty. Anyway. Let's jump back up top. Let's talk pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. So there you bloody go, dickheads. A bit of a squeeze at the Vicious Ant Spade. And as you can see, it is... It's beautiful. It's glorious. It's absolutely, you know, done to perfection in terms of the build quality and the aesthetics. Um, you know, one thing that I didn't point out in the up and close is just this little curve that she has. Just a really subtle curve there and there. And it just... I don't know, it kind of turns a, an average sort of box mod shape into just something a little bit more fucking refined. You know, and that's Vicious Ant's design and, and that lovely cutout there with the spade. It's just, you know, you don't see that shit on your, on your cheaper fucking devices. Beautiful. Well, let's talk pros and bloody cons. What do I like? What do I not like about it? Well, obviously, build quality is a huge fucking pro with a device like this. It's very expensive. We'll get to that in a bit. But, you know, you do get really, really fucking good build quality, um, you know, across the whole fucking thing from, you know, the door to the way that the, um, the screen's inlaid and the buttons. Got a really, really solid good click to them. Really, really good quality feeling buttons. That joystick feels nice. Um, as I said, the way the door fits in there, it's just so fucking well built, you know, very, very fucking nicely done. So that's definitely a pro for me. Uh, that's that, that uh, acrylic door. Really like the acrylic that they've used in here. Very, very nice. That squonk bottle system. Awesome, awesome fucking uh, idea and, and uh, execution with the uh, the bottle. The fact you get that little spare one with a little key holder, you can just swap out easily. You know, 6.8 mils or do 7 mils. You know, I'd find I'd probably vape on average sort of 10 to 20 mils of juice a day, depending on what sort of setup I'm using. So, you know, two of those sort of, um, you know, seven mil bottles are going to get me through a day pretty much, or, you know, maybe a third if I wanted to be um, really safe. But I love the the quick and easy fucking removal that the, uh, the system there has. I really like the battery cap, you know. I'm a fan of telescopic caps just because of how well they connect with the battery and also the fact that they're not going to wear out. There's no hinges and things like that. But when they do it like this where you don't actually have to remove the cap completely to get the battery out, it's a little bit easier again. So a really, really nice job on that battery um, removal. Having the, the cap in there that you just sort of loosen off gives you a really, really solid connection and you know it's not going to ever fucking wear out on you. Uh, what else do I fucking like about it? Uh, the finish, I really like the finish on the paint here. Um, I'm not sure what they've done, but it, it's super fucking durable and um, it feels nice as well. It looks good. Looks the bloody tits. Screen's really, really bright. That's definitely a pro. You know, it's a little bit busy and, a, a, you know, a little bit small, some of the uh, the letters, so maybe not everyone's going to like that, but it is very bright. You're not going to have any problems reading this in the sunlight. Uh, I had to turn it down for the fucking, uh, you know, the camera work there. Um, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it's not performing really, you know, in terms of the output of the power better than a lot of other chips out there, but... It is a really fucking well-made device, and I think that's the, the big pro here is just how beautiful and well-made it is. So, con stickheads, what do I have in the way of things that I don't like? Look, to be honest, with a device like this, there's not a lot that you can really hate on. You know, it's built extremely well. It's got a very, very good chip in there, you know, and it performs fantastically. So, what do we... What do we have to fuck a nitpick. Well, the screen's a little bit small and busy. There's a lot going on in there with small sort of letters and things like that. Some people are maybe going to have a little bit of trouble reading it. Um, the, uh, the, the, the fucking squonk bottle, as much as I love the squonk bottle removal system, some people might find it a little annoying that you've got to remove the battery to kind of get that bottle out easily. You can do it without taking the battery out, but you end up squeezing the bottle a little bit and you can kind of shoot juice up. Um, so yeah, a little bit uh, of an extra step there when you're removing the, the bottle, having to take the battery out, but you can always just refill it via, you know, a squonk refill bottle through the 510 if you don't like taking your battery out. Um, apart from that, you know, what else do I really have to complain about here? Um, 
it's built extremely well. It looks extremely nice. It performs fantastically. The only other thing is that I'd love them to do a 21700 version of these regulated spades. So, you know, from what I can see on their website, they've got the um, the DNA 75 chip in 18650. They've got the uh, the 485 J Yeehe chip in 18650. They've got 18650 mechanicals, and they've got 21700 mechanicals, but I couldn't see on the Vicious Ant website a 21700 DNA or Yeehe chipped version. That would be ideal. You know, the 21700s with uh, an advanced chip like the DNA or the Yeehe would be fucking top notch. So I'd love to see them do, um, you know, a 21700 regulated version. But apart from that, I really don't have anything to whinge about. It has been an absolute joy to use, other than, I suppose, a little bit of a subjective con. The Yeehee chips are a little bit of a, they're a little bit more fiddly and a little bit, they're not as intuitive and, you know, they kind of have some left and rights and ups and downs and that kind of thing. I think I prefer the DNA 75 chip to it, but you do have a little bit more wattage here with the uh, the Yeehee. Now, I'm not saying you should run this at 100 watts because it's not going to do 100 watts for very long, but the DNA 75, sometimes you get a higher resistance coil or whatever the resistance coil is you've got, and maybe you want to get 85 watts out of the chip rather than 75 watts out of the chip, just to give you a little bit more voltage, say, from your battery. So, yeah, I can see how maybe the Yeehee chip has that advantage over the DNA, but the DNA doesn't have the replay mode, which I'm a massive fucking fan of. So I think for me, DNA 75 would be probably my more go-to um, for this sort of thing. But there you go. Do with that what you fucking will, dickheads. Let's talk price. All right, hang on to your fucking wallets, cunts, because they are bloody expensive. These are a high-end piece of kit. Vicious Ant have always been high-end. That's what they do. And, you know, they make some exquisite devices, but with that comes a price tag. You're looking at 350, I think, US dollars for this one here that I have. The, the Vicious Ant Spade with the DNA chip or with the Yeehee chip will cost you 350 fucking schmackos. Uh, yeah, three and a half beans. It's a lot of fucking money for, uh, for a mod. I think the quality that Vicious Ant put out, the design, the aesthetics and everything else, just the whole package, the box, even those little refill bottles, just everything about this device, for me, I think does is justified you know, in a $350 price tag. But not everybody's going to fucking agree with that. And if you don't want to spend that much and you prefer more of a, prefer more of a mechanical you know, vape, then you know, you've got the, uh, the mechanical versions, which I think are around $200, um, you know, quite a bit less. <coughs> Excuse me. Why? But either way you look at it, they're expensive. They're not going to be for everybody. I don't want to fucking, well, you whinge if you want to whinge about the price. I don't really give a shit. You know, people pay what they want to pay for the things that they want to fucking buy. And if these are not the things that you want to spend the money on because they're too expensive, then that's just fine. But for those that like, you know, higher end, finer things, definitely won't be disappointed with uh, this little number. Very, very fucking tidy. Now, everyone always asks me battery life with these sorts of mods. It's a really subjective kind of thing when you're talking battery life on a single 18650, um, you know, squonk mod like this. If you're running, you know, a point, you know, two five ohm coil at 60 watts, you know, I can probably get a day out of two batteries, take a spare one with me. Um, but if you're running a higher wattage, lower resistances, lower resistances, higher wattages, it's going to change. It's going to depend on what you fucking do. Single 18650s, I think, really lend themselves in a regulated um, capacity to more of a sort of a 0.2 to higher resistance coil. At, you know, a lower voltage, you're going to get a bit more battery life. But again, you know, find what works for you. You know, I will run a, a regulated 18650 at uh, 80, 90 watts and just take three or four spare batteries with me and just swap them out as they start to die. It's really down to the individual as to how they want to vape. You know, if you want to go all day, well, you're going to need to go a lower wattage and, um, you know, a higher resistance and, um, and just go on one battery. Otherwise, you know, amp it up and take a few fucking spares with you. It depends on how you want to fucking do it. So overall, an exquisitely well-made device, uh, beautiful to look at, really, really a joy to use, and, um, you know, it's up to you as to whether or not, you know, the price tag matches your fucking expectations. But either way, 
Fucking well done, Vicious Ant. So that's about all from me. I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down below if you want to check out what I'm doing outside of the fucking YouTubes. And if you want to support the channel, please fucking do. I do run an independent channel, which means I don't accept funding, sponsorships. There's no affiliate links here. There's no paid reviews. There's no jumping the queue fees. I want to make sure that what I'm fucking doing is not being tainted by any of that corporate money and you cunts are getting a ridgy didge opinion on a product. So hit my Patreon page. I do prizes, giveaways, content that you won't fucking see here, your YouTube and some other special fucking goodies and all of that keeps me doing my fucking thing but if you can't that's all good just sit back sub on your fucking dicks off or your tits off i don't care what it is you're fucking vaping on whether it's a fancy fucking hundreds of dollars worth of filipino made high-end gear or it's just a cheap and cheerful little chinese banger as long as you're not banging those fucking bungers that is all that bloody matters cheers for tuning in and cheery fucking oh This is the SX Mini, fuck, SX Mini, you bloody wanker, 485J chip, fuck, fuck, <clears throat> you got yourself something pretty tasty here, a bit of a high-end fucking, sh fuck, this is the G, the G, the fucking G, what, you bloody, G, he's fucking got no fucking words today, got myself something pretty tasty here, a little bit of fucking... Yeah, <clears throat> beauty, absolutely gorgeous, stabilised, well, it's acrylic, it's not stabilised wood, it is acrylic. Shit, fucking bull, bollocks.